Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to the Stanley Parable. I got it right. I didn't say ramble. We are back for a final season attempt at promotion. Thank you to everyone that voted. At the time of recording, which is about half 12 past midnight, uh, we've had 800 votes and 56% said continue. The good news is, I know lots of you are looking forward to the next series and stuff, but with it coming up to Christmas anyway, if I was to stop and like at the end of last season... The new series probably wouldn't start until the new year anyway. So this kind of covers all bases. And I kind of like the idea. And what we've done, as as many of you suggested in the comments, was to force Gusto's hand. So I basically... Billy Key, he's been... I was going to say a legend. He's been a player with us and Zanzella. I basically said I listed those as unwanted and transfer listed. Weirdly, they both sold for exactly 100k. I don't know if that's just a director of football AI thing. Or they were valued at a similar amount, about 300k each. So, you know, bargain basement. But they, we, we, they went for 100k. But we bought in 275k. Gusto's doing what Gusto does. Uh, he didn't didn't spend any of it. We don't actually get that much money to spend. It's 5% of the transfer revenue. So but we helped out with the finances of the club. Uh, we released a bunch of players as well. Sowerby, Jordan Clark, Eddie, Seddon and Andrew Scott all left the team. So I haven't looked at these players yet. I've seen them come in. I know a couple of the positions. We've also got a striker coming in loads on loan from Leeds. So let's go look look at these players together, boys. We do need a goalkeeper, remember? <laughs> goalkeeper would be useful. Right, George Thorne. I feel like I've heard of him. Is that the one I've heard of? On loan from Preston. That is the George Thorne. Didn't he used to play for West Brom? Oh, he did. Fucking hell. All right. Okay. I can live with that, boys. He can play DM. He can play central midfield. Good passer with the ball. Oh, Gusto, you're spoiling us. Next up, we've got Andy Boyle on loan from Ipswich. Oh, a centre back. Well, wonders never cease, lads. Really good mentals. I like him. Not the paciest. Got one cap for Ireland. We'll call him an international because he's actually had one cap. He's got ears like an elf. Always a bonus. Call him Legolas. Um, we've got Stevie May from on a free from Aberdeen. Good. A striker. We do need strikers because we don't have any. He's a striker, isn't he? No, he's actually all right. Really, some really nice mentals there. Can play pretty much any of the roles, which is nice. Decent penalty taker as well. Finishing, like, first touch composure. Not the paciest. He's 5'10". Jumping reach is 12, though. That's not bad. 12 heading. Okay, he's a good all-rounder. I don't mind him at all. Decent beard. Okay. Next up, we've got another Liverpool loanee. Obviously, they're our parent club, so it's a lot easier to get loanies. So, Gusto's been doing bits. Connor Masterson. Never heard of him. Another centre-back, though. Another decent... Oh, boys. Hey. Hey. Let's not go too early. But that is that is a good centre-back partnership in and of itself. Jack, we don't have a goalkeeper yet. Jack Bonham on a free transfer from free transfer land. <clears throat> it's a goalkeeper. It's a goalkeeper. 27-year-old Irish. Another Irish player. <clears throat> not Probably not quite as good as some of the loanies we've had him, but actually he's pretty solid. Solid if unspectacular. I don't mind him. I think we, he's, doing, he's doing bits. Josh Morris on loan for Millwall. Can play both wings. What is going on? Um... Yeah, he's all right. He's not exactly setting the world alight, but we'll take it. Jan Dander, I've heard of him. I've heard of Jan Dander. I remember that name. 22-year-old English player. Lacking a bit of pace for a winger, isn't he? But he's a good inside forward, which is good. Good finish. You can play him up top if need be. Remember, we're still lacking a bit on the striking front. Good passing, good technique. Plays a deep line forward as well. Where does he come from? Swansea, Premier League Swansea. All right, I'll take it, lads. Oh, he's a Liverpool reject. That's probably why I've heard of him. Okay, Sean McWilliams. Come on. Is he Scottish? No, he's English. Central midfielder, good. Another good passer of the ball. Not quite as good as the other dude. But Mazella and Box to Box is his favourite of roles. It's actually not a bad Mazella, if unspectacular. Okay, I can I can live with this, boys. Uh, let's have a look at the other guy we might be getting in. Sam Dalby on loan from Leeds. Yeah, oh my God, he looks like about nine years old. 
15 first touch, 15 composure, 12 finishing. Good in the air as well. Very good in the air. Six foot four. Oh, hello. <laughs> Smells like a target, man, doesn't it? Okay, not a bad team. <clears throat> I can I can live with this, boys. Oh, got to do registration -y, exciting registration-y things. Um, Auto-select that mother fudger. Sorry if I'm a bit... I'm trying not to go too high energy today because I have I've got to record videos because <clears throat> I'm away for the weekend Friday till sort of Monday Tuesday ish. Um, I'll put up a video explaining the schedule, slight schedule changes, basically taking a weekend break and Monday. Um, but I have a massive headache and it's it's trying to burst out of my brain currently. So yeah, just low energy, just chill, just a chill episode. Yeah, I'm pretty damn happy with that. Do we have the positions covered? I think we do. Have they changed the stars? Well, I'm wearing my glasses today. That's how bad it is. I'm not wearing me 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 gunner optics. I'm wearing my normal glass normal glasses. It's like occasionally I'll get eye strain, so I use these the sort of reading glasses so I can see shit. <clears throat> the new patch is out, which is good. Apparently, less. I was just complaining about this the other day, wasn't I? Less players running towards everybody closing down like sort of a seven year olds, but. Uh, Apparently that's been improved. And I think Gagan pressing is probably my favourite style so far on this FM. So if that's been improved, then it's gonna be killer. Okay. We've got we've got Andy Boyle. Yeah. Who was the other dude? Con Connor Masterson. They could form. Any any left footers? Right only. What are you, Boyley? Left only. Oh my god. Gusto's like been thinking about shit. It's obviously it's completely luck, but alright, boys. And I know that a bunch of you, <laughs> um, you know, wanted to see the series ends. But like I said, we would have had just a big break anyway. It's not going to take anything or add anything onto the Fort William save. That's going to be Monday to Friday as normal. I did get a couple of comments and I was really, oh, I'm so glad you lost in the last episode because I really wanted you to finish the save. Just don't fucking watch it. <laughs> just don't watch it if you're not enjoying the save. Don't watch it. Don't like wish evil on me because of the save you don't enjoy. Oh, I was a bit dickish. All right, okay. Seamus can go on the bit. How are you for centre midfields? We've got George Thorne. He's going to be key. We've got McWilliams. We've got Josh Morris who can play left back as well if we need it. Not the most defensive, but I don't mind that. Good stamina and natural fitness though, so that's quite good for a wing back. But that's, that's options, boys. Options. Um, so let's just think about this. Uh, Ross Sykes can go on the bench along with Josh Morris and Seamus Connolly. That basically covers centre back, right back, left back, plus central midfield. It's quite handy, these clever blokes that can play different positions. I'm going to go with you. Jared Bowen's still injured. He's out for another four weeks, so he's going to miss the start of the season. But we've got. I'm going to go with McWilliams. He didn't look a bad player. DM's going to be Liam Nolan, just a solid, if unspectacular, player. Right. Who's going up front in our first game? I think it's got to be Stevie May. Well, it, it, it actually has got to be Stevie May because the other dude isn't here yet. Hopefully he joins because otherwise we're left with Stevie May and then Jared Bowen if... I don't. He's not as good as a striker, and then the youngster James Wilson, who's not horrific. I'll, I'll try and give him. Jesus, these regen faces are terrible. <laughs> like actually scary. Right. Um, it looks like this is where we're weakest. I think with the transfers, we got Jan Danda. We got Jadod. What footage is you? You're a right footer. We play you as an inside forward there. I don't mind playing righties on the right, as we've discussed before, but he's two-footed anyway, so that's fine. Okay. Um, and then Niall Watson. Let's have a look how he's developing. He looks pretty shit, doesn't he? But he's doing bits, absolute bits. Like, what a breakout season he had last year. Okay, doesn't look as good there. He's got a lot in the League Cup. <laughs> Still actually not too bad, to be fair. Eight goals. We'll take it. He'll have to do his homegrown, which is nice. And then we're going to go... Do we have anybody in our under-18s? We've got Hugo Pierce as another attacking option. Not really inside forward material. Um, 
my head is exploding, by the way, and I've got to record a bunch of videos tonight, so <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. If the next few videos are a bit shit, do forgive me. Yeah, we're a bit we're a bit weak up front. There's still time in the transfer window. <clears throat> Kieran Weed Kieran Weed. Kieran Weed's gonna have to turn turn into Wilson. Um and okay, O'Connor. Yeah, we're a little a tiny bit weak. Fred, I think Ben Rothorn, you can go there. There we go. It's quite a small team. <laughs> Could be an issue further down the season. But I'm really pleased with the defence. All of a sudden, we've got a strong defence-ish. We're going to stick with what we finished last season. <laughs> Somebody said in the comments, I'm glad you lost because you were fucking about with the tactics too much. Like, cause, yeah, because we had a horrific run and I needed to change something. <laughs> okay. Playing Coventry. Oh, let's have a look. It, it, I've had a look at the season preview. We've moved up, but we're 15th. 85 to 1, playing Coventry, who are one of the favourites to get promoted this season. So it's a good early test. And cut the squad numbers. Auto number for the win, boys. Auto number for the win. It's at home. Might be to catch them early season. Um, right. Lots of debuts. Good luck, everyone. Uh, okay, so suggesting I don't say anything to my team. I'm going to... Show me what you can do. There's a lot more to come from. I don't know if that's true because so many are debuts. I've never seen them before. But I'm really excited. Oh, shit. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I didn't send, set up any central. Oh, luckily, I put him in the right. Thing. I, I'm really excited to see Thorne. I think he can do bits. I think May's a good all-rounder. Um, and the centre-backs, especially. Goalkeeper, not worried, but I don't think he'll, you know, Allison it. He's not going to win us points on his own, I don't think. And, of course, all the windows have reset for fun times. Fun times. Sports Interactive, if you're watching, can you can you do this for next year as part of the default skin, please? Because it's really useful. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Miles, if you're watching. All right, here we go. Come on, boys. The start of a new season. Obviously, this is shit or bust. We get promoted in any way, shape or form. I don't care if we have to cheat. If we get in the playoffs, automatic promotion. <laughs> Unlikely. Um, but if we get promoted, we keep going. If not, it's definitely ending. Because that would be perfectly in time for Christmas. And then in the new year, we'll start the new journeyman save. Not the brightest start, lads. I think we should probably just go a bit cautious. Chuck out a concentrate that will piss off my entire team. Or they might just completely ignore me. I'm, I'm worried that my goalkeeper's nervous. It's basically Simon Mignolet at this point. He's going to have a flap at something and then I can feel it. Good header away, Johnson. And again, and again. Oh, come on, Marshall. Good tackle. Oh, it's coming straight back, though. A go-go. Is that Junior? Iori, is that ex-Liverpool player? Bloody hell. I've got people I've heard of. Coventry haven't got money. What's going on? Good closing down, though. I appreciate it, boys. Solid defensive work so far. That's a good ball. <laughs> straight up on him. But he needed that. Yeah, he needed that. Get rid of the nervous, mate. How about a little bit of encouragement? Does that get rid of nerves? I think he's just ignoring me at this point. Do you speak uh, the English, Jack? Was he Irish? Do I have to go, top of the morning. Save some goals. I can't do Irish accent. Um, I'll show some passion. It always works, show some passion. <laughs> nil nil against a really good side. And I'm saying show some passion. It works, let's fight him up. All right, I'll take this. It's We haven't looked like scoring, but no, I think this is good. Look, my assistant's getting ahead of himself. Jimmy, Jimmy. Sort yourself out, mate. I don't even know if he's a new assistant because I know pretty much all my staff are running. I think all my staff are running out at the end of the season and he just gave them all new contracts. Because, you know, it's easier than just looking for new staff, isn't it? Okay. How the team playing? Attacking wise, not really playing. But they've probably not got much of the ball at all at the moment. Connor Masterson is absolutely destroying it. He's calm. 
motivated. These these two centre backs could be a quite an important thing this season. It's like suddenly having a shit team and suddenly signing Virgil Van Dijk in it. They're like, oh yeah, all right. Sort the defence out. They're going to score now. I've said that. No, come on. I'll take a nil nil draw. Got to be honest. Um, our bench is not the greatest. I'd say. Let's give Sean McWilliams. His match sharpness is a little bit low. Liam Nolan can come off because of the yellow card. I'm hoping we can sign one or two more players if we can get that. If we can get a striker in, we've got money to spend. So please, Gusto, if we can get that striker in, and then maybe get like a another inside forward. I think that would that would I'll take that. Ideally, I'd want maybe another defender and another midfielder, but I'll take that. Hang on, are we going to steal it at the end there? Rowthorn, super sub. To Thorn, we've got two Thorns. Connolly. We need a rose, because then we could have a rose amongst the... No, leave it, leave it. <clears throat> Thorn, go on. And again. Oh. I mean, it made me hurt that, did We'll take it. I'm going to praise them. Is it is it a gamble praising a nil-nil? Yes! Masters of the centre-back! The Liverpool! Come on, boys! Come on! A little bit. We've FM'd them a tiny, tiny, small amount. But they haven't created a massive amount of chance. Two clear-cut chances. Come on, boys. Sign of things to come, eh? Hey? Eh? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this could be this. This could be it, boys. We basically, go on, Thorny. <gasps> basically been relying on two like young centre backs for the last sort of three years or however long it's been. So this is this could be quite a change up. I think overall, I am very p surprisingly pleased about we got five days before the transfer window closed. I'm surprisingly pleased with the transfers that Gusto's made, especially if we get that young Sam kid in. But we do have money and a little bit of wages. Um, I might just edge a tiny bit into wages just so he's got a bit more wiggle room. Because that actually might be a little bit more important than the money to spend. Um, I think if he can bring us in another inside forward, I think... I would be delighted. I'd give him a solid 9 out of 10 if he can bring in um, another player. Let's go defensive. I'm pleased with my performance lately. Lately? It's your first game, mate. Okay, he's an idiot, but then he is a footballer. Right, there we go, my friends. Thank you very much. for. Hopefully, we'll have new players. I'm, I'm quite excited about this, this nine-year-old kid we're signing. Um, I think he looks a decent prospect, especially that first touch of composure off the ball's 11 as well. So I'm quite happy with that. Hopefully one more player and I'll be chuffed. Right. Thank you very much. And thank you for all the support. Thank you for those who voted. I know, uh, like I said, I know lots of almost half the bits, like a bit like Brexit, almost half the people wanted to see the, the series end and stuff like that. But like I said, I wouldn't be starting the journeyman before Christmas anyway. So it would just be a gap. We'd just go back to one video a day with the, being the Fort William a save. So, um, and also, um, I'll have a video out on whenever it is. I can't do days. Um, probably sort of Friday, Saturday, probably Saturday, just to s tell you what the um, schedule is for the next few days. Cause I don't think there'll be any videos just for a couple of days. Cause I'm, I'm doing the whole Christmas family bit, going to see the mum and stuff, deliver presents like a young Santa Claus. Right. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.